Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, I'm gonna do two things here today. I got some things that came in the mail, but uh, I actually I wanted to be very serious about something first. Uh, I'm gonna ask you guys for your help uh, because I think this is important. Um, as a cancer survivor myself, okay, uh, one of our members of our family in the Prepper Nurse community um, has stage four pancreatic cancer okay and uh, I'm gonna give you her name because I'm gonna have down in the description below is gonna be the link to her GoFundMe account all right her name is Ellen Ollard um, if anybody that was at the prepper get-together last year um, you may remember her you may not um, but she was at the prepper get-together last year and um, you know uh, Everybody that came to that prepper get together last year, honestly, it was like a great big family. Um, so it was amazing uh, the camaraderie, the brother and sisterhood of everybody at that get together. And so um, I just found out yesterday. Well, the, I got the, the email actually came Saturday, but I didn't even get to that email until yesterday. Um, but uh, I spoke with Ellen last night and talked with her. Um, and told her I was going to be doing this video and uh, you know letting her know that you know I will be using her full name and she was like that's fine um, because obviously if you're going to go to the link you're going to see the link um, you know for and who, who she is and stuff like that but uh, um, you know she worked in the healthcare field um, obviously not being able to go back now that she's you know in treatment and so she is in some financial stress and uh, I just wanted to um, see what we could do as a community to help a fellow prepper out. Um, I know things are financially tough for a lot of people, but anything you guys can do um, to help support her um, with the GoFundMe account, uh, I would absolutely 100% appreciate it. I'll be making a donation myself today as well. So um, you'll see my name up in there. Um, you know, I'll probably make the donation before this video goes up. But. Um, I just think that, uh, you know, as a community, if we can support each other, and I talk about that all the time, um, as you guys know, I, I, I'm a big believer uh, that we should be supporting each other, and uh, those are in good times and bad, and so, you know, if somebody in the community is having some issues, you know, I, I think it's important to try to do what we can, um, and, you know, I, it, it's just, this is a... Cancer is close to me because of the fact that in my family, uh, we die of two things in my family. We die of cancer and we die of old age. And so uh, it's really, it's something that really is close to my heart. Um, again, as a cancer survivor, you know, uh, it's, uh, cancer's no joke. And it doesn't care how rich you are, how poor you are, what color you are. Cancer just doesn't care, okay? So um, I, I would just, like I said, I would ask you guys... Um, to go to the link below and it'll be in the description and uh, do what you can if you would uh, I would appreciate it greatly and I know she would as well uh, you know I know when I talked to her last night uh, she can't even get her car inspected until she gets new tires on the car and uh, she needs that car to get back and forth just just for her appointments and uh, financially she's like in rough shape right now um, so uh, anything that you guys can do um, I would appreciate it and thank you ahead of time for that and I'm sure that she will be very appreciative as well. Um, I will be talking about that again tonight um, in the live stream but I wanted to put this out now in today's video and, uh, and you know share that with you guys and then like I said tonight when we do the live stream I will be talking about it again. Uh, so I would ask you all to join me tonight in the live stream as well and uh, so uh, we're going to have a nice chat. I'm not sure what the topic's going to be yet. i got to get that set up. But uh, you will see that when I get that all set up. Okay? So, all right, let's do some things came in the mail. And I wanted to, uh, to show you guys. Uh, let's see. So let me. All right. So I got this. Uh... Hey, Ed, thank you for sharing your homestead with us all. These are my gift to you and your family. Although you are, uh, are, you are, are solar, these will be helpful for travel and, of course, college life for Heather. And this came from Ken. I won't say his last name, but he sent, and I'll show you these. And I'm going to tell you what, guys. These things here are awesome. Um, they're D-Lights. 
There is solar light, and on the back you can see the solar. Uh, you basically put them in the sun. They're great to have around the house, especially like at night if you're trying to tr see what's going on and you got no power or whatever the case may be. Uh, these are absolutely fantastic to have. And I don't know if you can hear the dog in the background. That is my sister's dog. Um, she is going nuts in the building because they're gone right now, and that dog cannot stand being alone. So that's why she's howling and barking, because she probably hears me talking. So anyway, um, Ken sent, I believe it's six, six of these. Um, thank you so much, Ken. These are awesome. I love these lights. These are fantastic. I already had a couple, but uh, I will give some to Mom and uh, Becky, and then uh, you know I'll make sure Heather has one for school. But these are absolutely fantastic. I love these. Uh, just a very, very thoughtful gift. So thank you very, very much for that. It's very much appreciated. And uh, again, in, in an SHDF situation, now you have light. And these things, like I said, these things are fantastic. So I'm going to put them aside. Um, the next thing that I got, let me put this in with that. So the next thing I got and this is hey Ed something that will be useful to you in the homestead the old old farmers almanac I know you will enjoy it um, thank you for all that you do this is from Sally Ann and again I won't do last names guys but uh, she sent uh, the farmers almanac 2001 so, Sally Ann, thank you so much for that. I very much appreciate it. Um, you know, like I said, I appreciate these gifts, guys. You have no idea. Um, it does mean a lot to me, and thank you so much for doing it. Um, very, very, I know it comes from the heart, and uh, I do appreciate that. So, the last thing I got, and this, hold on a second, where it is. All right. This is from Deb, uh, just sending you a few things along, uh, and intended to get, um, uh, get, get out to you for now. Uh, so, but anyway, I, I'm not going to read everything that she wrote, but basically she's been very busy. Um, she has been working, this is from Mountain Girl, um, she has been working on emptying one house, uh, moving into another place because they had her and her husband who passed away last year had two places and so she is getting rid of the one house and moving up to her mountain home and uh, so uh, that's um, she sent me and I'm going to show you what she sent but she has had her hands full okay uh, 50 state guide to firearm laws and regulations which I think is good it's good good information to have for people to know what you can and cannot do in each state, especially if you're traveling. And if you're armed and you're traveling, it's good to know what you know, um, to know what you have. And in this book here that she sent, I was like, when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, this is awesome. The Trapper's Bible, okay? And in this here, guys, this is um, unbelievable. All kinds of information, like how to do a deadfall. Um, let's see if I can... Okay, so here is a bait set snare, and then on the other side, a box trap. I mean, there's a lot of really, really good information in this, and it shows you how to set it up, how to do it, um, you know, like with traps, what to do, how to use them. Um, really good things to have, especially in a post-event, knowing how to trap animals, again, doing things silently and quietly without a lot of people knowing. Um, again, the more that you can do like that, the better. Uh, so that came from Mountain Girl. And thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate that. That really does mean a lot to me. I love the gifts, guys. Um, so thank you for everything. I do appreciate that. I'm going to stick everything in this box here. But um, very, very kind of you all. Um, you know, th thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Once, when I build my addition, um, I'm going to probably set up... Well, what, there's going to be a room, there's going to be strictly storage. But I want to try to set up a room where I'm going to do videos and stuff like that. And what I would like to do in that room is get, like, bookshelves. I have a tremendous, and my phone's going off, um, I have a tremendous amount of books. 
and I would like to have, you know, like my library, if you will, um, with all the different books and stuff like that. So uh, I definitely want to set that up in there as well. So I think that that's kind of cool. So I, I have some plans. So next year, um, you know, I will be, the greenhouse is going to be worked on this fall in the inside. And hopefully I can get that all scored away and get that up and running through the winter and do some experimentation. Um, that's the game plan anyway. And uh, so next spring, uh, there, there's another project that's going to be happening soon here at the homestead, which I will share with you as it happens. Um, kind of keeping that one under my hat for right now, but you will all see it as it goes. And I'll explain everything as it happens, okay? But next year, uh, the game plan is to get the addition built on to the homestead because eventually what we want to do um, right now, Mom and Becky are both living over here. Mom is going to come over and live with me. Uh, right now, Mom doesn't have a room, so she actually has another bed in the same room with my sister. You may have seen that on video, okay? But uh, So that's what they're doing for now. Um, once the addition is on, then Mom will be moving over into my house with me, okay? But uh, So that's, that's the game plan. But uh, So next year is going to be busy again, um, which is good. <laughs> there's always, believe me, there's always something else to do, always. So... Um, we are going to be, so a lot of people were asking, so who's going to finish up uh, in your sister's house, okay? So um, I have done some bartering with Greg, and um, if you guys, uh, he took the other refrigerator, the monstrosity of a refrigerator. Um, he took that refrigerator, and we're going to be doing some bartering with that. Um, him and I are going to finish up my sister's house, okay, and get it so that it's livable. Uh, the first priority is getting the wood stove in. Once the wood stove is in, um, then we will work on, uh, you know, to me the priority is getting it skirted in, getting the insulation underneath, and getting that protected and prepared for winter. So those are the priorities, and there's obviously a lot of stuff inside that has to be finished up and taken care of. Uh, we will do it as we can, okay? So that's how that's going to go down. But, um, so just sharing that with you, letting you know how that's going to happen, but, uh, you know, they're not going to be left in the lurch. Um, so, you know, we're going to take care of Mom and, and Beck, and they're going to get their place finished up and uh, livable. Um, my electrician is coming out this weekend, and we're going to be hooking up the system and changing things around a little bit. Uh, we're going to have four batteries on my system, four batteries on their system. And so we're going to separate the two. So they're going to have their own individual. I will have my own individual, which does mean down the road, uh, more batteries will have to be acquired because uh, you can actually have up to seven batteries in series with um, the type of batteries that I have. So, uh, But that's going to be a while <laughs> because those batteries are not cheap. So it's not something I can go, oh, well, I'll do it tomorrow. Um, no. So, um, you know, those are the things that kind of happen. But uh, So anyway, that, that's what's going on. Um, I want to remind everybody, too, also, uh, my sale continues right now. On my website at PrepperNurse1.com, uh, we have uh, the Legacy Freeze-Dried Food is on sale right now, and that is going to continue. That sale will continue through Memorial Day, and I called it, no, no, I did it again, Labor Day, Labor Day. Man, I don't know why I keep saying Memorial, Memorial Day is in May, Labor Day is this month, so I apologize for that. Uh, brain dead, it happens. But anyway, so the sale will continue on until the 7th. Uh, it will end on the 7th at midnight west coast time so that would be 3 a.m. on the next day on the east coast okay so that is going to be I believe the 7th so let me just double check that and look at the calendar um, yes the 7th is when the sale is going to be over okay so uh, you can save 20 percent on your legacy freeze-dried food if you are thinking about adding that to your long-term food storage which is a great thing to have um, I've done several reviews on the food you can go back and check those out I would not recommend anything that I don't have in my own storage as well, and I have a lot of freeze-dried food in my own storage, and I like the Legacy freeze-dried food. Um, it, it's a really, it's the largest proportion size of any of the other sellers. Um, it is very, very good, uh, and like I said, I, I don't recommend something that I don't use myself. Just putting that out there, okay? So anyway, um, take advantage of that, 20% off. Um, it's, a you know, the Memorial Day sale, and, or is it, no, why do I keep saying Memorial Day? Labor Day. Why do I keep saying Memorial Day? Labor Day sale. So LD 2020, 
um, is the discount code should come off automatically at checkout. Um, if it does not, uh, just contact me and we can take care of it. We can fix it. It's not a big deal. Okay. So if your order goes through and you didn't get the discount, just contact me um, and I will make sure you get the 20% credit back to your credit card and stuff like that. So not, nothing to worry about there if it didn't go through. But anyway, good thing to have. Um, again, if you're thinking about it, do it now while there's not a rush, while they have the stuff in stock. Because I think as things move forward, I think things are going to get to continue to get more tumultuous and uh, we'll have another rush. I, I see that coming. So take advantage of it now while you can get it in a short period of time instead of having to wait for a long period if they get out of stock again. Um, also, on my website, jdega.com is there as well. Click on that. The link is also down in the description below. Okay, um, You can click on it from the description below. If you go to their website, make sure if you decide to place an order that you use the discount code there, Prepper Nurse 1. It's the number one, not O-N-E. You can save 15% on your purchase. That is the CBD and the hemp store okay uh, again I have used their products I like their products good stuff um, and it's a really good way to help pain management without having you know it's more of an all-natural way of doing it instead of relying on pills that the pharmaceutical company is going to feed down your throat so uh, more natural way made in the US all-american product so that's a good thing too uh, so anyway so that's it for now guys I am going to jump off of here I hope everybody's doing well Yesterday, we ended up with 11 eggs yesterday, so good egg day yesterday, so I was really pleased about that as well, uh, so just sharing that with you, and uh, that's it for now, but again, please, let's support Ellen Pollard, i make sure I said her last name right, because I probably screwed it up, yep, Ellen Pollard, I said it right, um, the, that link will be in the description below, um, I will see you all tonight at 8 o'clock for the live stream, uh, we should have a good talk, it'll be fun. And uh, it usually is good conversations, okay? Uh, I will see you all then. I hope everybody has a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.